We're talking Wyoming area field hockey, Brie Bednarski with this uh, Coach 2024. Here we are. And uh, really good season so far. The competition is stiff as always. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's talk about the growth between last year and this year. Mm -hmm. And, you know, seasons go. We just don't know what's going to happen because the competition is so good. Mm -hmm. One team goes mm -hmm. in the division you're in to yeah. state. So talk about trying to make everything work out so you're peaking at the right time. So I think our mentality changed from last year. I think the girls are strong mentally this year and physically. Um, I think last year we were a little lacking on the mentality um, portion of that. But like you said, great competition. Um, it is unfortunate only one team goes. So we really are going to have to like step it up when district comes along to be able to get ourselves to a level to where we could potentially win the, the chip game. Only a couple veteran coaches left. They're yeah. still pretty darn good. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, some of the younger people like yourself have come in and, mm -hmm. you know, it's uh, it becomes a little mm -hmm. bit interesting. Talk a little bit about, you know, hey, you know, what we're doing here in Wyoming area, we're mm -hmm. going to be consistent. We're going to play at a very high level. Mm -hmm. So I think the veteran coaches, it's great because like they have all the wisdom, like they're wise from like being there so many years coaching, like they've been through like almost probably everything. Um, and then when you have a coach like me and like uh, the Dallas coach, a couple other coaches are just coming in fresh. Um, I think that helps because there's like a year separation where we just went through this kind of stuff like through college. And I think it helps that we went through it recently um, playing. So I think that helps the girls. And like sometimes I even jump into practice with them. So I think that helps them a lot too um, because I won't take it easy on them. Like we'll play and because I want them to learn, I want to spread my knowledge I learned in college to them. Um, so just with that stuff, I really hope that we could come out on top here. You go against a Lipsky, a Fifty, mm -hmm. and is it the same stuff they've been doing for 20 and 30 years, or are they changing with the times too? I think they definitely keep up with the times, but you know what, like they're great coaches. They have great programs. Um, they're definitely our hardest games this year, so. This team this year, let's talk about the athletes you have, and then, you know, everybody seems like they're going to a place, mm -hmm. but in the end, it's all about the team. It's all about winning a high school field hockey mm -hmm. game and winning enough to make yeah. it a special season. Yeah, yeah. so obviously we have a, a lot of great talented players individually, but field hockey is definitely a team sport. We need everyone to be working together, working as a solid unit to be able to win games. Um, but I think these girls that are playing like out of season through travel and stuff, getting their name out there, going to colleges, like I think they really help project the rest of the team forward. Is there a breaking point like, you know, we just hear about field hockey mm -hmm. in Northeast PA and think, boy, they can play all year, mm -hmm. but there's got to be a, some give and take with that. Some might play another sport, mm -hmm. some might need a week off. For you, when you go back to when you played, mm -hmm. was it like, the more I played, the, the better it was? Or mm -hmm. did you have a little bit of downtime? Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, I got to mm -hmm. take just a little break here. Yeah, I think everyone needs some downtime. Um, I think it's great if kids could play field hockey year round, because you know, you're just getting more experience. But I love when kids could play multi-sports. I think you just become like more well-rounded. Um, you're getting different techniques and you're learning different things, different coaches' perspectives, um, seeing different athletes, like learning different team, like the way a team functions. So I think that helps a lot. Um, but either way, if they're have, everyone has to have downtime. But if you're playing field hockey year-round, that's great. And if you're playing multi-sport, that's great. Once in a while, you get a flipper. They yeah. played soccer their whole mm -hmm. life. Now they become a field hockey mm -hmm. player. Or, like anything else, you might get some unrealistic expectations. My kid's going to play field hockey and get a scholarship. Yep. They've got to go D1. they got to go play mm -hmm. football at you know, mm -hmm. a big school. You know, Those are just things that people don't see as a mm -hmm. coach. There's a balancing act. You know, yeah. Conversations with parents, conversations with student-athletes. Mm -hmm. And listen, you could play somewhere. It just might be at... It, it, you want to be at the right yeah, place for you absolutely. and be at the right fit. Absolutely. So you're not going to a school for pharmacy and then it's like, okay, I'm flipping, I'm going business or sports yeah, management. Absolutely. I think um, like with that, there is a, a space for everyone. And I just think like the girls, the teammates help find your niche and like find, if you're starting to play field hockey, it might not end up being for you. Or if you're playing soccer, you might be like, wow, I'm really good at field hockey. And like, I think that switch happens in high school. The type of kid you get at Wyoming area, mm -hmm. they kind of have some blue collar mentality, mm -hmm. but yet have some other mm -hmm. different things that are sprinkled in mm -hmm. there. Talk a little bit about the uh, type of student athlete that you get and mm -hmm. you see some similarities in who you were. Um, I think Wyoming area athletes are very gritty. Um, and I think we get the reputation that we're gritty. Um, 
And I think that's amongst all sports too, like football, soccer, lacrosse, whatever sport it is. Um, I think in our area, like we are just like determined and we're competitive. The one thing in Wyoming area I always love is the sharing of athletes. It might mm -hmm. be, hey, I'm going to do this and do this, mm -hmm. or this athlete does that. There is a big connection between the coaches and the student athletes. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, we want you to be successful. Go have fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I definitely, I tell the girls all the time, like, when you get on the field, it needs to be focused, but you need to be having fun. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, then it's just not going to work out, you know. For this Wyoming area team. You're thinking, they're thinking this could be a special year, but mm -hmm. to make it as special as you want to be, mm -hmm. where do you need to grow over the next month? I think just as a team in general, we all have to grow. I don't think there's ever a point where you can stop growing. Um, and like you mentioned earlier, like we do need to hit our peak like at the right time. Like we have to peak for if we do get into that district final game, like that needs to be like a part of a peak. And then we have to work after that if we go that far into another peak after. And there's no looking ahead. I mean, it could no. be a Lackawanna Trail team, Absolutely. a Lake Lehman team. Absolutely. Uh, it could be anyone. So. Well, uh, it's always good to talk to you. Always yeah. good to see what yeah. you're doing there at Wyoming area. Continued yep. success. Yep. Thank you.